Now in this video lecture we will go through defects in crystal, defects in crystalline solids or imperfections in crystalline solids. In the beginning of this chapter solid state we have studied that crystalline solids are those solids that have regular arrangement of particles right in three dimensions and it is this regular arrangement of particles that gives it shape right that is why crystalline solids have regular geometric shapes because of this regular arrangement of particles in three dimensions right now we have also studied that if somehow with using some experimental technique if we look into how these how this arrangement of particles is done in the crystalline solid right and draw this arrangement of particles on a paper not on a paper but in three dimensions right what we get is a crystal lattice right so crystal lattice shows us how particles in a crystalline solids are arranged in three dimensions right so let's say if this is a crystalline lattice let's say not not this uh, crystalline solids now we know it shows us how particles are arranged right in solid let's say these circles shows us the arrangement of particles in a solid in a crystalline solid right now let's say these are plus minus these are cations and anions right let's say right so this is a crystalline solid this is a crystal lattice right crystal lattice and it shows us the arrangement of particles right which may be atoms ions or molecules in crystalline solids right now this arrangement of particles right that we say is a regular repeating arrangement of particles right we call it a regular repeating arrangement of particles right this is a regular repeating arrangement of particles now if this regular arrangement of particles right what we generally call it this regular arrangement of particle is an ideal arrangement of particle right this is ideal arrangement ideal arrangement of particles right this is ideal arrangement perfect arrangement of particles right and the positions that are occupied by these particles is the ideal position of these particles right this is an we call it a ideal position right of particles right and what is this if you remember we call it a lattice site or a lattice point this is a lattice site or a lattice point right we used to call it now now till this point we are clear right that crystalline solids have have well defined shapes because of this ideal arrangement of particles in three dimensions right now the topic is defects in crystalline solids right now defect refer to this arrangement of particles only right when the particles right when the particles in crystalline solids does not follow this ideal arrangement right they are said to be defective right so what is a defect defect is in the arrangement of these particles when the when these particles does not occupy its ideal position in crystalline solids right these kind of solids that have 
deviations from the ideal arrangement of particles are said to be defective or imperfect. That is why we call it as imperfect or defects in a crystalline solids, right? So what what is this? What are these defects? We will define it as deviation from ideal arrangement of particles, right? Deviations from ideal arrangement of particles is your defect, right? These are called as defects in crystalline solids, right? Now, what can be the cause, right? What can be the cause of these of these defects in the crystal systems, right? The first is, the first reason which is a possible reason is, when a crystal is formed via the process of crystallization, right when a crystal is getting formed right since we say that a crystal has a well defined arrangement of or a regular arrangement of atoms right in three dimensions now suppose this crystallization process or the process of formation of crystal is taking place too fast or at a moderate rate right then the particles in the crystal which may be atoms ions or molecules may not get enough time to arrange themselves in their ideal positions right so here the reason is fast rate of crystallization right because fast rate at fast rate of crystallization these particles constituent particles will not get enough time to arrange themselves in their ideal positions right so first reason is fast or moderate rate of crystallization Right. What could be the second reason? Right. These are reasons for these defects. Second reason is is heat. Right. If these crystalline solids absorb absorb heat, right, then it may lead to defects. How? When crystalline solids will absorb heat, right, these constituent particles, right, due to thermal vibrations, when they absorb heat right these particles will start vibrating which are known as thermal vibrations now when thermal vibrations will become high enough these particles will leave their ideal position right so it's a deviation from ideal position right due to due to heat energy from outside right so that is why we call it a thermodynamic defect we also call it a thermodynamic defect because due to this heat energy or due to this due to this heat absorbed from outside these particles right due to vibrations will leave their ideal position right so this is a thermodynamic defect so the reason is due to heat energy absorbed from outside right and this is known as your thermodynamic defect right this is a thermodynamic defect or we also call it a intrinsic defect right these are also known as intrinsic defects because intrinsic is internal right this if this defect right is if they are internal it's not due to some outside force right if it is not due to outside force and if it is due to something internal we call it an intrinsic defect right now how many kind of defects can it can there be now let's see the type of defects right types of defects types of defects right now if suppose the, these are points right these points represent the, the position of particles in crystalline solids right now suppose if the defect is around this these points or atoms right 
then the defect is known as your point defect point defect is when the defect is around these particles around these points right then we call it a point defect and suppose this is an entire row right the, this these particles are this is the part this is the row of particles right if the defect right is in the complete row right we call it a we call it a line defect right since this is a row a line right when the defect is an entire line or the row we call it a line defect right so defects are of two types defects are of two types the first is your point defect second is your line defect right point defect is when the defect is around a point right and when what what is line defect line defect is when the defect is defect is in a complete row in a complete row we call it a line defect right now these in this chapter right here we would be we would be mainly mainly we will concentrate on point defects not line defects right now point defects are further classified into stoichi stoichiometric defects right non stoichiometric defects and your impurity defects we would be studying these in details right now point defect is again divided into three first is your stoichiometric stoichiometric defect non stoichiometric defect right and third is your impurity defects impurity defects right now we know what is stoichiometry stoichiometry refers to it refers to the ratio of ions right in a compound right suppose suppose it's sodium chloride right so the ratio of cation and anion is 1 is to 1 right this refers to the stoichiometry right so the stoichiometric defects are those defects that does not disturb the stoichiometry of the compound that is the ratio of anions and cations will remain same due to these defects it's not that these defects will change the stoichiometry of the compound right so stoichiometric stoichiometric defects are those point defects that will not disturb or alter the stoichiometry of the compound right those point defects that will not alter the stoichiometry of the compound stoichiometry of the compound right so stoichiometric com these stoichiometric defects these stoichiometric defects can be like we studied here these can be intrinsic 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 or thermodynamic thermodynamic we have already already talked about thermodynamic defects are those defects that are due to heat energy absorbed from outside suppose some heat energy is absorbed by an ionic solid from outside or any non ionic solid and due to that heat energy absorbed the particles will start vibrating and at one point due to high vibrations the particle will leave their ideal positions right ideal posi these ideal positions so it it is said to have a defect then right so these are your intrinsic defects because it is due to something internal not due to some external force applied thermodynamic due to heat energy absorbed from outside it can be intrinsic or thermodynamic defects right now one thing since 
since we are talking about thermodynamic defects and we are saying that due to heat energy absorbed from outside it may lead to a defect in the crystal right so the perfect ideal arrangement of particles in a crystalline solid is found at absolute zero right so this kind of question may get may have, may have i think have been asked before that when does the particle have ideal arrangement or at what temperature will it have ideal arrangement of particles in the crystalline solid so what you have to mention is that at absolute zero right the ions are arranged in a regular fashion right so at absolute zero particles are arranged particles are arranged in a regular fashion in a regular fashion or particles have ideal arrangement at absolute zero this is important right now these stoichiometric defects stoichiometric defects are of two types right one is vacancy defect right and the other type of defect is your interstitial defects right stoichiometric defects stoichiometric defects are further cl classified into two one is your vacancy defect right the other is your interstitial defect interstitial defect right now what is vacancy defect vacancy defect is i said that these are the ideal position of the particles right these plus minus plus minus that is showing here these are the ideal position of these particles in the crystalline solids right now if some particles are missing from their ideal positions right they are missing or they are dislocated right in short if the particles are not present at their ideal position they are said to have they are said to have a vacancy defect right why we call it a vacancy defect because if this particle will leave this ideal position then it will generate a vacancy here a vacancy or we also call it a hole right so vacancy defect is when a particle is missing from its ideal position it is said to have a vacancy defect and once it will leave its ideal position it will generate or it will de develop a hole right in its ideal position right so right so this type of defect is when particle is missing from its ideal or regular position ideal or regular position right ideal or regular position and this type of defect since i said when we talked about thermodynamic defect we said that on on heating the ionic solid these particles may absorb heat and will start vibrating and will leave their position so what kind of defect is that it's a vacancy defect right so particles will leave their ideal position generating a vacancy at their ideal position right so these type of defects will generate vacancies right which are unoccupied positions right it will we we'll write here it will these kind of defects will generate vacancies vacancies which are nothing but unoccupied positions right and it is these kind of defects uh, can be generated due to heating now we have interstitial defects these positions are interstitial positions these positions right position between these particles is your interstitial positions right between the particles right 
So when some constituent particles occupy these sites, right, which are marked in green, right, they are said to have interstitial defects, right. We call it a interstitial defects. Right. So when these particles, when par we, what are interstitial defects? When particles occupy interstitial positions or interstitial sites, right? These are said to have. We say these possess interstitial defects. Right. So these two types of defects are these vacancy defect and interstitial defects. Right. These are found in these are found in non-ionic solids. Remember, vacancy defect and interstitial defects are found in non-ionic solids. Right. And remember, interstitial defect is when the particle occupy this interstitial positions. Right. Now, what about ionic solids, right? What about ionic solids? Ionic solid is like sodium chloride is an ionic compound, right? Now we said here, let's just look at two things when, you, when we talk about ionic solids. This is electrically neutral, right? Ionic solid is ionic solid like sodium chloride right this is electrically neutral right so when we when we talk about defects in ionic solids we have to take care of the electrical neutrality of the substance of this ionic solid and the second thing we have to take care about is the stoichiometry of the compound so electrical neutrality right and stoichiometry you have to take care of these two things make sure that that this defect this the make sure these any of the defect in ionic solid will not disturb disturb the electrical neutrality of the ionic solid and its stoichiometry that is the ratio of the cations and anions the stoichiometry should remain the same right so when we talk about defects in ionic solids we again have two types of defects which we call it as Scotty defect and Frankel defect, right? So here we have two types of defects, Scotty and Frankel. Okay, one important thing we have, we, we have left here that the particles, since particles are missing in the first vacancy defect, we said particles are missing. So when some particles will are missing here, right? Then what about the density? If we talk about the density, missing particles due to missing particles the density of this substance or this ionic solid will decrease right because we know that we have been talking about since the beginning that solids are denser ionic solids are denser because of these particles right because these particles are tightly closed in solids since the particles are tightly closed they are very close to one another due to this they are denser Right now, suppose some part particles will leave their position, right? So now they are they would be less tightly closed, right? So particles that have these defects called as vacancy defects will decrease the density, right? So I'll just write it over here. These kind of defects will decrease the density. And what about this interstitial defects? We said that some particles are found in interstices, interstici interstitial positions, these positions. These may be extra particles, right? So when this tightly closed, closed packed structure of solid will have another particle, right? That will again occupy the mass, right? So mass will increase due to this particles which are in interstices, which will increase the density, right? So density will density will increase here right so now ionic solids when we talk about similar defects when we talk about similar defects in ionic solids they are known as scotty defect and frankel defect right so we'll just write it over here scotty defect 
Scotty is uh, the name of the scientist, right? Similarly, Frankel is also the name of the scientist, right? So the defect discovered by uh, German scientist Scotty, right? And it's a vacancy defect. Scotty defect, S C H O T T Y. The spelling is Scotty defect. Right. This is a. Then the other is a Frankel defect. Right. These defects are a little similar to these vacancy and interstitial defects. Scotty defects uh, is. Now make sure that you are when you study about defects in ionic solids, you have to maintain the electrical neutrality and stoichiometry of the compound. So when particles are missing, right? Scotty defect is same as vacancy defect. Scotty defect is a vacancy defect. This is a this is a vacancy defect, right? Where where these cations and anions are missing. Right from their ideal positions, but you have to make sure that you understand equal number of cations and anions would be missing from their ideal positions. That is, if one cation one cation is missing, then another anion would be missing, right from its ideal position. So it will create a pair of holes, right? It will create a it will create a pair of holes. due to vacancy defects right now electrical neutrality is maintained because even after when a pair of cation and anion would be removed right then the same number of cations and anions would be there so as to maintain the electrical neutrality of the of the ionic solid right so it will maintain the electrical neutrality and the stoichiometry stoichiometry is the ratio of the cation and anion so when same number of cation and anion would be missing from their ideal sites the number of cations and anions remaining would have same ratio as before right so stoichiometry and electrical neutrality neutrality is maintained in case of scotty defects right and it will generate a pair of holes as i said right so what are the consequences or what type of solids conditions for conditions for this scotty defect is conditions are highly ionic highly ionic solids right will undergo scotty defects right and they have a high coordination number right and have a high coordination number these kind of solids that undergo scotty defect right have high coordination number and they have they have highly ionic solids right example is your sodium chloride right potassium chloride right potassium bromide and potassium chloride potassium bromide these are examples of scott uh, ionic solids so showing scotty defect and one thing the uh, in this kind of defect the size of cation and anion are around same right are approximately same right so size of anion and cation would be same right and since particles are missing like in vacancy defect particles are missing so it will also lead to decrease in density right it will lead to decrease in density right now let's talk about frankel defect frankel defect is same as interstitial defect right but we say it's a combination of scotty defect and a interstitial defect because what happens here is an ion would be missing a cation would be missing from its ideal position and will move into interstices interstitial position right so this is also known as dislocation defect right so i repeat frankel defect is a combination frankel defect is a combination of scotty defect and your i'm sorry it's a combination of vacancy defect and interstitial defect because an ion missing from ideal position will occupy its interstitial position right and 
this kind of defect would be found in compounds that have smaller size of the cation right because we know that these positions are small so if only those cations that have smaller size than anion 